What is going on guys? Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service and today I want to do my 2022-23 snow removal setup video. Stay tuned, we are going to jump right into it. Guys, so I just came out with this new 12 month contract template over on mowinginthedarkpodcast.com. This 12 month contract is awesome. It combines all the services that you want to offer into one contract for residential. This is not a commercial contract. This is a residential contract. Combines it into one contract so that you can break all those down into 12 equal monthly payments for your clients so that you can make year round income. This thing is awesome. It's completely 100% editable. Go check it out today at mowinginthedarkpodcast.com. Okay guys, so we're gonna start right up here at the front. So as you can see, I've got a 2020 Ram 2500 truck. This is the tradesman package with a plow prep package on it. Let's start with the plow. We have the HDV 8.6 V plow by Snow X. And this is a really sweet addition to my setup. I had this last year, so this is my second year with this plow. It's really sweet. It's pretty easy to hook up. It's, you know, it takes a bit of maneuvering, but it's it's super simple. Once you get it lined up, it's super simple to hook the thing up. Um, the brackets on it, from what I know, I didn't install it myself, but from what I know, it installed very easy as well. So. This thing is really cool. You can actually get down pressure for this. It's just a little module that you buy for like 500 bucks. You just stick it in the, the, the thing under the hood. I don't know much about it. And then you have down pressure. It's already built in. You just got to get the module for it. So I don't have that. Uh, I don't think I'd need it, but I might get it. I considered it the spring when I was talking to the guys at the, the dealership but I just haven't done it yet. Maybe I will if we get some really heavy snow and it turns out that I need some down pressure, I might go that route. But right now, I'm not gonna go with the down pressure. Whew, guys, it is cold out here. I am rocking with the Snow X 8.6 V plow. Um, I love this thing, it is, it is great. I have it up off the ground right now just because I had to put on the salter on the back to show you guys. And I'll explain why I had to put the salter on so I run a Snow X Pro 575. In case you didn't hear me, a, a big backhoe just drove by. I run the Snow X Pro 575. This thing will hold up to seven or eight bags of salt. I believe it's seven bags of salt. Um, it's really good. I actually have the vibrator kit on the back. The vibrator's right back here. Um, the reason I have that is because sometimes I get wet bags of salt and they won't drop. And so you just click that, you click that vibrator on for just a second. It drops all that salt and you can just keep going. It's really nice. Now, what I have with this and the reason that I had to move the truck and put this on is because I really don't have a use for it this year. Last year I had a big lot that I had to salt and it would take six or seven bags of salt per application and so I needed a salter. This year I lost that lot and so I don't have that anymore. So I don't really need this. I don't have a big use for this. I have a small lot that requires salt but I'm just gonna push spread that. So um, this is really cool though. Let me show you this. This actually has a swing arm. So this arm swings out. Let me show you. So all you gotta do Pull the pin and the whole salter swings out so you can access your tailgate. Now this is really important for me as a solo guy with only one truck because when I had that lot that I needed a salt, I had to get the salt and get up in the truck and load the salt, all that stuff, get out my, my snow blower. And so this was vital. Now this did cost me like two or 300 bucks more, but it was well worth it. Now you guys can see there's some rust on this stuff here. And what I'm going to do today 
is I'm going to spray the whole underbody of the truck and any other metal parts on the plow or uh, anywhere else on the salter that need to be protected from rust. All right, what I use is something called CRC. Let me grab a can and show it to you. All right, so this is CRC. This stuff I buy on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it other places, but I've looked at like AutoZone and places like that. They don't carry it. They carry, uh, what's that other stuff? Fluid film. They carry fluid film. Fluid film is good if you have to put it inside of something, like inside the frame of your truck. It's good for that. But if you get fluid film wet or anything like that, really, it washes off pretty easy. This stuff does not. Once it dries, it's on. So this doesn't come off real easy, but it will wear off over time. So I like this stuff a lot better. It works great. Uh, the underside of my truck is virtually rust free. There might be a few spots, but not many. And this truck is two years old. So, and it's seen two winters of snow work. Now I do try to fight the salt as much as I can in rust by giving the truck a wash every time I go out for a plow run after I'm done. But you know, rust is still gonna form, it's Michigan. So uh, I just do my best to prevent it with this stuff here, which is CRC. All right guys, so now let's head over to the smaller stuff. I've got a really a residential seed spreader here by Echo. I actually really like this thing. And I have the Toro Power, Power Clear here. And uh, I like this thing as well, but I've got some cons about this thing here. But let's talk about the Echo RB60 first, okay? So a long time ago, a couple years ago, I was in the Echo UAG group and they sent everyone in that group one of these RB60 seed spreaders. And I got one and I really liked it. And my first year I used it for salt and it was it worked really well uh, sometimes it would plug up with bigger pieces of salt but it, it did fairly well through the process of the uag program i got one of their winter actual salt push spreaders i didn't like it at all it pushed really hard and it had a bigger capacity but when it had a big capacity it pushed even harder so if you loaded it with two bags of salt it was almost impossible to push so it wasn't worth it. I, I didn't like it. The only thing I did like about it is that it had um, it had like baffles on, or not baffles, but things that you could, flaps, that you could direct the salt on all three sides. And that was nice. This one only has a, a flap on the one side. So it, it does good. I sprayed this with CRC already, so that is hopefully protected from rust. I do need to wash it every time. Uh, that I take it out. I just didn't the last time, which was bad on my part. I need to do that. It's very important uh, because it can rust that metal. Even though I did spray it all down with CRC really good, it could still rust. So this holds 50 pounds. It's got two holes there and it's got the propeller and it has a handle that pulls here. And then on the back, it's got this is where you adjust the amount. And of course with salt, you just want it wide open. So I like that it works very well for what I need it to do. It spreads the salt even, it's, it's really nice. All right, and then we have the Toro Power Clear. This is the 821 RC. It's 252 cc, so 252 cc's. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera when I said that. Um, the only thing that I dislike about this is this thing here moves around really bad. And this thing is starting to not hold very well. All right, so sometimes that will fly up, especially in thick, uh, wet snow. Um, also, I think I need to get the carburetor cleared, cleaned or something because I can't run it out of, uh, out of choke. So it's got to be partially choked. So I don't like that. But other than that, it does what I need it to do. It clears sidewalks. Um, when it's really thick and heavy snow, I've got a shovel, which sucks. But uh, it is what it is. We've all got to do that. So uh, for shovel, I just use a cheap shovel from 
a place around here that is called uh, Menards. Some of you might have it, some of you might not. So guys, that is my snow removal setup. It's pretty simple, but it gets the job done. It makes me good money. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget about that 12-month contract. Visit mowingindthedarkpodcast.com to get yours today. And that's it, guys. I will see you in the next video.